I'm really trying everything I can think of to make this a successful flight. So, uh, step one of our trip. We are leaving town tomorrow. We are going back to Australia, but my family don't know. Well, they do know. They don't know the day that we're landing. We have told them that we are landing two days later so that'll be a little surprise i'm excited i first need to get through these these first three flights really so tomorrow we're flying to los angeles and then in a few days later we're flying to australia with a connecting flight in new zealand i'm gonna pack today i need to go out now while i have a little bit of time and get some things so i'm going to vlog i love targets that have little altar sections it's just great i can go to target for literally everything I need. I need to get some skincare and makeup stuff and then also some things from Kaya. I'm really trying everything I can think of to make this a successful flight and the, the big long Australia flight too, but I will show you what I get. down for her nap so i'll show you what i got from target the first thing that i got was a beauty blender i actually wasn't trying to get one with a case but then i thought that would actually be good for traveling even in general i feel like i don't know where to put my beauty blender so it like doesn't get bacteria i don't know i just i always feel so funny about my beauty blender i'm like where do i put it there's nowhere to put it so this is actually really good i feel like my peace of mind will be like this is its home you know what i mean i just hit my hat then i got the brow whiz milo <laughs> Come here. He's right behind the camera. Come here. Look. I use, I don't even know what it's called, but it's just like their powder in the circle thing. But they were out of my shade, of course. So I just got this. It's like a little pencil shader thing that I'll be able to use. I did get my brows tinted, so I won't really put much product in it anyway for at least the first like two weeks. And then once the tint goes away, then I'll use this. <sighs> Travel size stuff. Just get me. Also with traveling, I want travel size stuff. So I just got some of the MAC Fix Plus setting spray in the travel size. And then I got this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face, cre face Cream. Oh, <laughs> that's what I get for trying to be quick. I'm gonna have to return this. What I meant to get was like a face cleanser and I think it looks the same as this. Like I think it's holy hydration face oil or something. That is what I meant to pick up. You can't tell me that that does not look like the same product. Ah. And then I just got a little travel sized better than sex mascara. I've been using the YSL mascara. It's amazing, but it's almost out to the point where it's like starting to kind of clump up a little bit. So I just got a little travel sized. I've gotten Makaya a couple new things that she's never seen before, hoping that it will intrigue her and she'll be really interested. So she loves books too, so much. And so I got her this book that I think she'll like because it's a flat book. And once she like gets the hang of that, I think she'll want to do that probably over and over. I'll show you everything else I have for her for the plane. You'll probably think I'm going OTT. I then got two of these smart sweets. These are Gabe's like favorite candy ever. So I thought that would be good for him on a plane. <laughs> I got these pom pom cat toys. I was looking for some sort of soft balls and I thought these would be perfect. Makaya, we recently discovered that Makaya loves juggling and just thinks juggling is so hilarious. So when Gabe juggles, she's like so fixated on him and laughs so, she like cackles at him jiggling. Jiggling? Juggling, actually, she juggling. Have I been saying jiggling this whole time? Passed this in the pet aisle and I thought that would actually be perfect. Just little pom-pom balls that Gabe can ju juggle. I'm telling him to take this on the plane because if all else fails, he can juggle. How do I even pack? for this long. So we're going for one, two, three, four, five weeks. Five weeks of baby clothes. This will start with PJs. She'll be turning 10 months when we go to Australia, but she still kind of fits in six to nine months, some three to six months. I don't know how. This is also the little outfit we put on for her month pictures that we take. So I definitely need to take that. I thought it was a really good idea and I thought I was saving money. I ordered this in a size 12 months. Then I thought, oh, this is going to be great. We won't need to keep Keep repurchasing it she would just like wear the same one for six months it is so big it's so big like her month pictures are almost slightly laughable because of how baggy this is on her and we try to like roll it and cuff it but it's like you can tell it's still so baggy and i just feel silly that i made that decision because like i should have just bought an in-between size oh well i'm gonna start getting makaya's stuff together i think that's what i want to do first my stuff 
can be lost. I just want to make sure that I have all of her stuff ready to go. I've been trying different like nappy diaper brands. We used Huggies from the very beginning just because I, I got gifted a lot of Huggies at my baby showers. Then I tried Honest because I like the Honest brand. I didn't like their nappies. And then I went on Target and I saw this one, Millie Moon. I have to go back on and like compare the price of this to Huggies and to other brands because this is so good. These are my favorite nappies. They're so soft. Like as soon as you pick one up, you'll notice a difference in how soft it feels like silky. It was so soft. Gabe was like, I would wear these. I was like, okay. <laughs> I want to try to take a lot with me because they're our favorite and they're like just soft on her, but I also don't want to take up too much room. I'll see. I'm really just going through the process with you. Anyway, I'm going to get some of her clothes ready. Oh, daddy makes up. Hold on. Is that funny? You ready? <laughs> yeah. We'll do it again. You ready? <laughs> yeah? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Rare Beauty, my favorite. Thank you to Rare Beauty for her favorite products of the year. The thing with traveling with a baby is that I should have started two days ago. She has just gone to bed and now we're in packing mode. I have a couple plans for tonight, which I think I've like loaded too much on. I have my expectations set too high, but ideally in a dream world, I would like to pack, shower, wash my hair, self tan, dry my hair and put on some press on nails, which I know that's just not all gonna happen because we also need to get up at like 4.30 tomorrow. So we do need to go to bed quite early. I took everyone's advice. A lot of people said like, have some new toys that they've never seen before. It's not just for tomorrow's four hour flight. It's also for the 14 hour flight in a couple days. So I'm not gonna show her everything tomorrow unless it's going so terrible that I need to. Well, you're forgetting one small fact. What? The 14 hour flight is a 10 hour flight and another four hour flight. That's true, we are stopping in New Zealand. The first thing we got is this little Melissa and Doug like shape toy. And then it also has these flaps on the back. It also has this thing and a zip. So I feel like this will entertain her for a while. I also like this because there's space in here so I can fit other toys in. It's not just like gonna take up a bunch of room. I got this thing because she loves our TV remote. One, two, three, you're logged in. The only issue is that I don't know how to turn it off. Like I don't know how to turn the volume off. It's quite annoying. Like, just imagine that on the plane. I think she will like it, but it's so loud and it, like, it doesn't turn off. It's just, it's still going. Okay, stop. Shh. Okay, stop. There we go. The next thing I got her are, are these like little teether keys. They're really soft. She loves like shaking anything. So I think she'll really like that. Then I got her this, can I don't know, strap onto our seat, hopefully. And I'm really just out here trying literally anything. These I think will be really good. We have things like this in the bath. So these can stick to like a window or probably even the back of our seat. And they're so cute. And then the book I showed you earlier. And then I got a little cookie monster book because she has an Elmo one and she loves the Elmo one. So I think she'll like this. That's my baby supplies. Now I have to get packing and eat some dinner. Dinner is done and I showered, washed my hair and put on a tan. So now we just have to pack. How many pairs of underwear are you packing? Nice. One underwear for tomorrow to wear on the flight, obviously. Stop flexing. Then I'm not flexing. Now I'm flexing. Yeah! That one you always need one more piece of underwear. I could all of a sudden crack the poops. All right, this is the issue I'm dealing with. I have a good amount of space in this bag, fit all my clothes in, but I also need to fit like my toiletries and it's books, I have the camera. We'll just, we'll see if it fits in theory. You know what I mean? It could be like a Mary Poppins bag. The thing is it is. That's the issue I'm dealing with is it kind of is like a Mary Poppins bag. This bag really is the gift that keeps on giving. And if you're interested in buying this bag for your significant other, go to bullstrap.com. It's my brother's company. Now let's test out everybody. The final piece of the puzzle, the toiletries bag. The thing is with the toiletries bag is that I used to always only say it as toiletry bag, which I think it should be. But then I, I always question myself because Jess calls it toiletries bag. It's a toiletry bag for all your toiletries. So it kind of is a toiletries bag. She fits baby. Ding. Oh, that's a full bag right there. Not only is it utilitarian, it looks fantastic. 
I wanted to start introducing formula to Makaya to have it on the flights just in case. These are so nice. You can put the formula in. You could also put like snacks in here, but there's three little sections. They have like a little, I don't know, like funnel section that you can pour straight into the bottle. So that's gonna be really good. I got two of those and then I also got this as just like a little travel thing for the formula, just so I'm not having to take like this whole can with me. I also got this, which is like a portable water warmer, which has been really good. We've used it at home and then it just tips off like that. So I feel prepared. This is making me feel a lot better because when we flew to Florida and it was, the flights were really hard, I felt like I didn't have enough supply. And so that was tough. So it'll be good knowing like if we need to, we can make her a bottle. Yeah, the end. <laughs> Okay, it is 9.50, which I know is not late, but we are usually in bed at this time, but I think we're done. I've got that nervous feeling. I don't know if you guys get it too, where like you just constantly feel like you're forgetting something and then I'll walk around the house and be like, oh yeah, I did forget that. And I feel like that now, like I have this constant feeling of like, I'm not done, I'm missing something. I think we have everything. We have managed to put both Makaya and my stuff in like one and a half suitcases, which is really good because I feel like I used to overpack, which this is probably, I probably still could have cut down. The fact that we're going for a month and all of our stuff is in there and then Gabe's is in his little like weekender bag. It's good, but it also just makes me feel even more like I've forgotten something. This is step one of our trip. Our flight is at 8.45 in the morning. So we basically, she will wake up at like six and then we're going straight to the airport. So I hope it's a better time to fly. The last two flights that we took that were really hard were basically at her bedtime. So it was pretty difficult. <sighs> anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for step one of our trip. Coming up next, we fly to Australia tomorrow. Okay, we're in New Zealand. Do we need to be ready for her to walk through the door? <laughs> 